to stop. I heard my grandfather's voice, and he said, that's it, that's it, that's what you're gonna do. That's it, that's it, that's what you're gonna do. And I knew at that time what I had to do. the typewriter. You do what? You do what? You do what? I'll play the typewriter. And my mom goes, sure, go ahead, take it. And so I drove back to Lawrence, Kansas. to sign up for a, my very first open mic of my life for that very night. And so I got to Lawrence, Kansas and took my typewriter to the Hockenberry Tavern. And the sound guy came up to me and he said, what are you going to do with that? I'm like, yo, I'm going to play the typewriter. He said, what? He said, I'm going to play the typewriter. He goes, oh, OK. So I typed my grandfather's name over and over again to different beats, crying my eyes out. And then I signed up for a no, another open mic for the next week. And week by week, it seemed like another musician showed up to cook a little jazz with the crazy fucking typewriter player. Until we outgrew the Hockenberry Tavern and decided to play down the street at the, at the real Monday night open mic, you know? I made these really pornographic, dirty, nasty flyers and put them all over Lawrence, Kansas. <laughs> and we packed that fucking place. I had no idea, and I still don't know how to play percussion very well, but when you play a typewriter, nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 